Good evening, dear poets. I am Sama Prasad Patnaik from Odisha, a former bank manager, now residing in Bangalore, India. I welcome you all to my live show. It's a great honor to be invited by the Fertile Brains platform for rendering my poems. My heartiest gratitude to poet founder K. Kumar Prasanna and his team of poets. In my opinion, Poetry is a medium to connect souls' emotional feelings to the people through powerful words and verses, either rhyming or free, with or without meter. Poetry has capacity to influence the moods and psychology of readers. It has profound power to transcend thoughts of poet through brain into the inner soul of its readers. Poetry is capable of enchanting, enhancing confidence level, resilience, steadfastness, and willpower. It can bring awesome reformations in various walks of life. Now coming to the point why I write poetry. I write poetry to satisfy my hidden desires and perceptions to enhance my literary skills and wisdom. It helps me to display my creative art and improves my vocabulary. Writing poetry gives me profound pleasure and ample mental satisfaction, keeps me engaged and refreshing to boost my morale and psyche, enhancing positive attitude and behavior. I use the varied techniques of imagery and appropriate metaphors to elucidate the central theme of my, my poems. My aim is to inspire and motivate everyone, especially younger generation, to face life's intricate trials and tribulations and various challenges. My intention of writing poems is to spread messages of love and peace through simple verses. Objectives of my motivational poems are to stop war and strife and restore peace. To prevent suicide, combat mental depression and frustration. Through my love poems, I try to strengthen internal bonding between lovers in friendship poems. My intention is to glorify sacred relationship between friends. In freedom poems, I do highlight on real and practical freedom. Instead of putting stress on spoken dialogues. Through my poems, quite often, I give importance on various virtues and values of human beings, such as truth, honesty, humanity, kindness, sympathy, tolerance, empathy, and generosity. Now, it's time to start my recitations. So to begin with, my first poem is based on love, and the title is Love Grows in Silence. The title of my poem is Love Grows in Silence. And here it goes. Love's symphony, though inaudible, moves in passionate air. Love's symphony, though inaudible, moves in passionate air. Love grows in silence beneath effulgent moon Glimmering stars, murmuring through gentle breeze without utterances. Silence enhances love, strength, and emotional perception. Two souls mingle in divine entity through silent meditation. In serene tranquility, poets scribble self-resorting verses. Mind and soul dance to mellifluous love tunes. Love's melody flows through spring's whispering reeds. Love moves silently, quite mysterious, amidst lilting tunes, like rhythmic soulful tunes of music maestro Beethoven. Love echoes in supersonic pace, swifter than fluorescence. Circumnavigate moon and back in blink of eyes. And here this poem ends. 
So my next poem is based on happiness. The title of my poem is Happiness, A Divine Bliss. And here it goes. We always crave for happiness as a reward for our doings. We always crave for happiness as a reward for our doings. Unaware of the fact where and how happiness generates. Mental happiness depends on our own thinking and contentment. Appreciate what we already achieved so far. Root of real happiness lies in serving humanity with benevolence. Inward happiness, an outpour of divine bliss. Euphorial happiness lies deep within, flows like an eternal spring. Happiness, direct outcome of empathy and generous behavior. And that is the end of my happiness poem. Friends, my next poem is uh, also a love poem. And title is uh, Waiting for Her. The title is Waiting for Her. The lover waits for, the, for, her beloved, for his beloved. So I am expressing the feelings of the lover. Waiting for her, my teenage quest for soulmate remain unfulfilled. My teenager quest for soulmate remain unfulfilled. In later twenties, eventually coveted dream girl found. She promised to meet me before scheduled twilight. Waited amidst soothing winds and mesmeric fragrant blossoms. Had leisure clinging to couch closer and tight. Now in dust, sun still dilly vanished into night's darkness. Drizzling raindrops commence to pour. Gentle murmur gradually amplifies. After a while, murky clouds vanish, whispering effulgent blue moonshine. On lake's water, silvery bright moon leaves dazzling scene. Each evening, eagerly waited in garden amongst retreating avians. Those moments so piercing and lingering magnify stress, stress, lusting for hug and kiss her, divested my patience. Musings transform me, romantic bird, ruminating, ruminating for lifelong, intensify my desire and romantic yearning so strong. And that is the end of my poem about wait, waiting for her. So my next poem is a motivational poem. The title of my poem is uh, Honey Bees, Tiny Wonders. It is all about honey bees, how they tire, tirelessly work for, work for accumulating honey. I am trying to describe my feelings. Honey Bees, Tiny Wonders. The poem goes like this. Honey bees, tiny wonders. Beehives drooping from inaccessible tree branches, apartment balconies. Swarm of bumblebees incessantly load nectar in hives. Humming harmonious chorus of unity in pure jubilation. Bees tirelessly collect nectar hovering over red clover. Under queen's stewardship, strive like loyal Spartan knights. Accumulate Honey from barnyards moving in diverse directions. Much inspiring, admirable, their steadfastness, resilience, and perseverance. Nothing thirsts tiny wonders to succeed in mission. Bethink these minuscule creatures endeavors whenever assigned tough tasks. Ephemeral creatures motivate everyone with their unusual skills. It's we see vibrant insects teaches unity and solidarity. Let's harness elixir of love and universal fraternity. And that is the end of my um, motivational poem about honeybees. Hope you like it. So my next poem is about a friendship. A friendship which is a unique gift by God. I have tried to elucidate the meaning of true friendship. The title is True Friend, and it goes like this. 
ट्रू फ्रेंड ट्रू फ्रेंड सकर्स हिज एली बी इट रेन और सनसेट रियल फ्रेंड एकम्पनीज हिज पॉल लेफ्ट अलोन बाय एवरीवन ट्रू फ्रेंड फॉलोस हिज बॉडी अप टू फ्यूनरल पायर्स ऑफ नेक्रोपोलिस बॉन्ड ऑफ ट्रू फ्रेंडशिप इवन गॉड लव्स प्योर एंड डिवाइन this holy relationship is highest form amongst all earthly bonds joys of one friend celebrated by compatriot as own delight struck by friends griefs tears roll down from counterparts ears it's a priceless unique gift to humanity always god sent lucky are those who have been gifted with true friends agonies of one friend makes another sad restive and sleepless selfless embodiment of love during need hours displayed in deeds true friend rescues companion even putting own life in threat and that is the poem about friendship now friends as you know i am a trilingual poet writing in english odia and hindi my next poem is in my mother tongue odia and the title is झरा पत्र तल रिषाद गीतिका इट इज अल अबाउट एलिजी अंडर द फल लिवस मो कवित शीर्षक है झरा पत्र तल रिषाद गीतिका नाइटिंगल प्रेमी जोड़ी मध्यवर्त विच्छेदर विरह जंत्रणाशिक्त स्वर तीव्रतर है नाइटिंगल प्रेमी जोड़ी मध्यवर्त विच्छेदर विरह जंत्रणाशिक्त स्वर तीव्रतर है स्मरणीय मुहूर्त दुखद विषाद भरा गीत एक स्वर से दुहे गाउले प्रेमी जुगल प्रेम भाषा अन्य स्नेह ममतार डोर लगी मन आस्तिष्क सबुज शाल शीतल छाई तले बीताई रोमांचित मुहूर्त स्मृति संभार आनंददायक बसंत हजकूल फूल बगिचार चेरी गचर छाई तले शीत दिन शुखला पत्र थंडा कामुड़े बड़कल विहीन काठ भली दिशे कदा का अगणित तो विहंग बसा बांधती शाखा उपर सजत्ने या असंख्य प्रेमी जुगल पक्षी मान से गभर बंधन को मजबूत करने शपथ नि सरीसृप गुंडुची एवं शासक सवक मान खुशी मनरे डे नाचु गर्त एवं कोरोड़ कि हाय सुखला पत्र खसीगला भूई रे पक्षी सुंदर स्मृति चिन्ह हजिगला पत्रहीन कुछित गम को पुणी थे गोटी गोटी कर मन पकड़ा बसंत सुगंधित अनुप्रवेश अपूर्व मनोलोभा मुहूर्त सब पुणी थे नुआ कौल सबुजीम मनोरम दृश्य चौदिगे उभा पुलक सह कोम एवं शांत पवन को डाकला मंद मंद मलयर स्वर विविध रंगर पुष्पराजी अनुपम सौंदर्य अविस्मरणीय सुगंधित महक खेलीगला गभर निद्रु पुनर्व जन्म नईला नश्वर शाश्वत चिरंतन प्रेम चांदी आलोकित है शांत स्निग्ध उत्कृष्ट एवं रोमांचित मुहूर्त संभार झरा पत्र तल विषाद गीतिका समाप्त है प्रेम पुणी थे पूर्ण अमृत अमृतमय है झरा पत्र तल रिषाद गीतिका समाप्त है प्रेम पुणी थे पूर्ण अमृतमय है ये थिला मोर ओडिया कविता आशा आपण मान मन को छुई थी एंड आफ्टर दिस ओडिया पोएम आई एम गोइंग टू रिसाइट वन ऑफ माय हिंदी पोएम्स इट इज ऑल अबाउट डॉटर्स इट इज डेडिकेटेड फॉर ऑल द डॉटर्स मेरी कविता का शीर्षक है बेटी की अंत ही व्यथा तो लीजिए यूं तो सभी कहते हैं बेटियां होती है साक्षात देवी लक्ष्मी का स्वरूप परंतु आज ये बात एक कही सुनी बात बनकर रह गई बेटियां तो हर क्षेत्र में आगे निकल चुकी मर्दों को पीछे छोड़कर पर आज भी समाज में बेटा को मिलता है बहुत लाड़ प्यार बेटी को नहीं मिल पाई अपनी खुशी से जीने का अधिकार इस दौरान बेटियां हो रही है कई तरह की शोषण का शिकार पर समाज की नजर में गिरने के डर से नहीं कर पाती उसका साझा खुलकर मौका परस्त पुरुष अक्सर उसके साथ छेड़छाड़ करने से नहीं कतराते अपनी बॉस 
कभी कभार उनकी करते हैं गलत इस्तेमाल बुरी नियत से उनको काम में लगाते हैं देर रात तक कई बार अपनी इज्जत आबरू बचाना होती है बड़ी मुश्किल बेटी की अनक ही व्यथा इसे और से साझा नहीं कर सकती संतान को जन्म देती है नौ महीने कोप में रखकर उन पर करके जान निछावर पर बच्चे बड़े होकर अपनी माँ को ही भूल जाते हैं अक्सर जीवन में बेटियां अनेक परेशानियों का सामना करनी करती हैं सामना जीवन में बेटियां अनेक परेशानियों का करती है सामना बेटी की अनक ही दर्द अंदर ही अंदर रह जाते हैं सिमट कर बेटी दूसरों के सुख को सुख के खातिर दर्द अपना लेती है हंसकर पर अफसोस बेटियां आज हो रही है दरिंदों की हैबानियत का शिकार तो ये थी मेरी खुद की लिखित एक हिंदी कविता उम्मीद करता हूं अच्छी लगी होगी सो माई नेक्स्ट पोएम इज अगेन इन इंग्लिश द टाइटल is divine peace it is all about peace i try to advocate peace in my poem so the title is divine peace and here it goes numerous brutal and inhuman gruesome battles we fought reassess with consum gains and loss it brought war of devastation no less a carnivorous act in air river were at dying soldiers anguish civilians plight terrorist attacks play havoc with the massacre of civilians phaser bombs and rocket tap explosions smart millions remember ravages of chemical weapons missiles and atom bombs countless innocent people die rendering their family homeless missiles demolish skyscrapers and structures into debris monstrous war appalling but soothing is peace with humility seize war forth with restore love and eternal tranquility sun violence and cruelty reinstate peace and serenity and that is the end of my poem on peace so my next poem is uh, god sent strangers sometimes strangers are sent by god so title have given god sent strangers here it goes mostly strangers appear like glorious sun from behind murky clouds mostly strangers appear like glorious glorious sun from behind murky clouds raindrops always glitter in rays of positive hopes emits drought when some strange incidents of life happen it astound us we leave everything to god when left without other way out generous and kind hearted strange and unknown person voluntarily help us god sent benevolent strangers often reappear appear from blue in dilemmas a gesture of humble gratitude and appreciation for benefiting someone in his adversity not expecting from him anything in return sometimes we misrecollect alleviation of someone incredibly occurred in past miraculously those best people appear unexpectedly helping us in distress and that is the end of my poem on strangers so my next poem is about love once again the title is love separation widens vacuum love separation widens vacuum oh sweetheart whenever you leave me forlorn souls vacuum widens oh sweetheart whenever you leave me forlorn souls vacuum widens my euphoric dreams transform into very sojourn of scary nights sweet water lake of romantic oasis turns into barren desert your cozy aura around me provides soothing comfort in solitude gap widens surging emotional tides seldom find anchor our little separation widens hollow in mature love's juncture your absence leads me into dementia a gruesome psychic condition your enchanting love enriches every nook and cranny of romantic garden i wonder 
whether void could replenish on your gracious reappearance. But blanks brimmed by amorous love's elixir and indelible fragments. And that is the end of this poem. My next poem is also about uh, my beloved. It is also a love poem. The title of my poem is, the uh, next poem is, She is an epitome of beauty. Just I have tried to glorify the beauty of my sweetheart. The poem runs like this. She is an epitome of beauty. She is an epitome of beauty and elegance. She is an epitome of beauty and elegance. When she walks amid moonshine, glow outshine effulgent numerous times. Her grace and demeanor, so fine, possess blue transcendent eyes. Cerulean cavernous eyes mesmerize everyone. Her unblemished cuties possess such alluring glow. Whole ambience transform radiant. She was so gorgeous, emitting sweet glow. Her hypnotic glamour engulfed everyone's hut. Her cheeks quite soft like snow, so tender, tender and cute. She's the exclusive one in God's creation. Even omniscient might be in wonders. She should have descended straight from heaven. She is no less than a fairy princess. My romantic adoration for her has begun, yearning for her consent and passionate promise. And that is the end of my poem about uh, She is an Epitome of Beauty. <laughs> Hope you like it. Friends, uh, the poem which uh, I am rendering now, it is my last poem. It is also a motivational poem. To keep away from depression. Last poem is a motivational poem. The title is Depression Should Not Overcome. Depression Shouldn't Overcome. Here it goes. Oh dear friend, I know you are stuck in a whirlpool. I repeat. Oh dear friend, I know you are stuck in a whirlpool. Far away from realms of emotions in anxiety and negative depression. Everyone is concerned as you are unable to vent inner feelings. Don't think you are alone in deep slumbers without support. Here I repeat. Don't think you are alone in deep slumbers without support. Never feel helpless in this situation. Come out of trepidation. Utilize pristine sea source, lakeside floral gardens. Walk briskly in parks inhale oxygen and blossoms fragrance. Spend quality time with family and friends under cool sets of green shrubs. Enjoy nature, moonlit, breeze, rain, flora and fauna, rejuvenate brain. Listen melodious music, enjoy mellifluous cuckoo and chirping of avians. Stay connected with loved ones to keep away depression Gather mental strength, rise up with confidence to emerge victorious. Here I repeat, gather mental strength, rise up with confidence to emerge victorious. And that is the end of my poet recitation, live recitation. Uh, but uh, before winding up, I would like to extend uh, my sincere thanks to poet founder Kumar Prasanna once again and his team for providing me this unique opportunity to recite my poems in the solo poetry recitals of such a wonderful and global water uh, platform. Sorry, my heartiest thanks to all poets who have watched and listened my listened me patiently, and awaiting your precious comments and remarks. Thank you once again. Good night and bye bye.